the key to this problem is coming up in a, with an equation for the semi-ellipse. We're told that the base has a length of 50, which means this is 25 from here out to one of the uh, major vertices. And this distance, the height from 0 up to here is 16. So x squared over a squared, well, we call this distance b, plus y squared over b squared equals 1. I've restricted the, the uh, y value to be between 0 and 16. That's why we have the semi-ellipse. If I solve this equation for x, taking the positive square root, I'll first subtract y squared over 16 squared from 1, multiply by 25 squared, and then take the square root. Square root of 25 squared, of course, is 25. And I have square root of 1 minus y squared over 16 squared. That's this distance right here for any value of y. So to get the total length of the base, I need to double that. Okay. <clears throat> so when y is, the question is when, <clears throat> excuse me, when y is 8, what is x? So we'll put 8 in for y, and I wrote this as 8 times 8 over 16 times 16 to make it easier to see why this is a 1 fourth. 1 minus a fourth is 3 fourths. Uh, the square root of 3 fourths is going to give me the square root of 3 over 2. Of course, I'm multiplying by that 25. So this distance right here is 25 radical 3 over 2. But so is this distance, 25 radical 3 over 2. So if I double that, I get 25 radical 3. That's your exact answer. Of course, you could get a decimal approximation for that. If I share my screen real quick, go to Desmos. Uh, there's a picture of what's happening where I let y sub 1 equal the height above the base. When it's 0, that distance is 50. But as I increase that height, the length of the base gets smaller and smaller. When I get to 8, I get this 43.031, but that is the same as this 25 radical 3. Of course, by the time we get up to 16, the length or the width of the base is 0, or the width of uh, the arch at the top is 0. Okay, so there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.